Okay, we have a lot of Google Pixel phones that are not powering on, and we are going to work on these phones. We are going to try troubleshoot these phones in the same video. So if you want to learn, make sure that you don't skip this video, because this video will be a troubleshooting video where I want to also, I want to be able to learn also. You understand? So I'm looking up to comments correcting me because these are phones that I'm still analyzing to understand the fault behind the dead boot this google pixel especially the google pixel 4 xl that particular device i think i have a lot of them you see all the phones that we're about to troubleshoot today most of them are google pixel 4 xl and i've been getting a lot able to repair a few of them but, but most of them i'm not able to repair and the crazy thing about this google pixel the book is that when you go online you try looking up to, to the fault you try looking up for videos related to the fault you are not going to see a, a lot of videos in fact when i'm doing research about these google pixel phones most of the videos that i see i see just my videos on youtube even on tiktok right there which means that maybe these phones a lot of technicians in other countries are not repairing these phones so maybe they're just too hard for them to repair so because of that i've spent a, a couple of months analyzing this fault trying to see exactly what is causing this fault i also made a video a few months ago about this fault but i want us to look into different devices a lot of devices in this video so that we all can analyze you can analyze from the video let me know in the comment section if my own results are, are, are okay or not because i will go into the phones then i will tell you exactly what is wrong with the phone the reason why i cannot repair the phone and all that stuff so if you have your own idea you can just drop in the comment section then i'm going to learn you are going to learn something also so let's get into this video then see how everything goes i'm to use my right here and don't forget to get my courses with a 50 percent discount and that's going to expire in just four days left three days left four days left okay we have a couple of google pixels here these are the ones that we are going to troubleshoot right so yeah let's see we start with this one i think this is a google pixel 3 and uh, you connect it to our dc power supply then i will explain what is happening with the phone how we can solve the fault or why we cannot solve the fault so i'm going to connect it to the vbat as you can see zero current consumption and with a single click in the power button you can see that it consumed 143 milliampere that's bad really bad that's just with a single click in the power button as you can see and from my own analysis keep in mind from my own analysis it shows that it has a problem with the emmc keep that in mind you can correct me okay but i have a full video about this also you can check it later if in case you are doubting and we have this other one right let's see what the problem is so we are going to check on this then go into my pc again and i'm going to show you the reason why i believe it's the emmc so i'm going to show you on my pc so that you can also confirm if it's the emmc so you can see this other device right so with a single click as well in the power key you can see that it consumes that current you can see 186 that's just similar to the other device that we tested right and for this device again that's an emmc fault yeah emmc fault let's let's try this other one let's try this other one and when i see this i'm not going to work on the pcb again i used to check to just to find out what is causing this particular problem and since the day that i noticed it's the emmc fault i know exactly what i'm looking at um when i'm when I'm looking at, I'm looking at these specific gradients, and when I see them, I don't have to stress myself again. But we are going to go more so that I will confirm, to show you so that you can confirm. As you can see, this other one with a single click in the power key as well, you can see that it consumes 156 milli milliampere, right? That's bad, really bad with a single click. So if it goes up to 100 and something, then goes back to zero. With a single click, it will be okay, but if it goes up, then it stops. You understand? So we have this other one. I already checked this one and it's the same fault. You can see I write the MMC fault. I'm not going to test that again. And we have this other one also. Let's connect it to our DC power supply and see what's happening. I mean, this Google Pixels, I don't understand. I don't understand. And uh, connect it to the VBAT single click in the power button you can see yeah single click it's 166 milliampere that's the emmc also the emmc fault as you can see 
all of them most of them are the mmc4 like the ones that i have tested right here but let me show you a, a few of them with a different fault and tell you exactly what is causing the, the fault in the other ones so all those ones that you see right there those are the mmc4 let let's test this one then see what's happening so if you want my courses at my courses are so if you want my courses right now, you can get my courses with a 58% discount. Don't forget to catch it from the link in my bio. So let, let's test this one with a single click. It doesn't really go up like the other ones, but with a single click, it goes up to 54 milliampere, then goes back, goes back to zero, which shows that that's a CPU fault. You see the difference, right? That one needs CPU revolving. So keep that in mind. So we have this other one that we are going to check. And we are going to see what is happening. The reading is different from the first one that I told you that it's an EMMC fault, right? So let's connect the voltage to the VBAT, single click. And you can see it goes up to 200 and it, it's not stuck, right? You can see it keeps going up, coming down, going up, coming down. And this fault, I can't really tell exactly where this fault is coming from, but I believe it's also in the memory section. Memory section. I don't know yeah let's confirm this by looking into our pc so this is where i from my own analysis i i turn out to conclude that this fault is caused by the emmc fault so you can see connecting the phone without the battery even it's going to detect on our pc in edl mode that's bad and it tells me that this fault is the emmc fault so that's the first one right so that's the first one even without the battery it goes straight to edl mode so let's test this other one then see what's happening so you can see i'm testing the ones with the emmc fault that we were checking our dc power supply you can see that it has a edl detection as soon as you connect the cable that's also bad i test this to confirm if it's really the emmc so we have this other one also you can see emmc it can shows right there that's emmc fault this one doesn't have a charging card let's see mm -hmm. and this other one also doesn't have a charging card okay so let's go to the ones with a cpu fault as you can see right here so that you will see the difference of what i'm talking about so if i connect it you can see i've connected it to my pc as you can see no detection you can't detect because the EMMC is okay. The CPU needs reballing actually. And then we have this other one. You're going to connect it. The one that I said that the problem might be from the EMMC also. So as you can see what happens, it shows like you haven't showed in EDL mode, but detect on my PC somehow. You understand? So 